Live from the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. Ray Styles here from Wild 94, and I'm honored to have these guys in front of me today. Uh, Bellator light heavyweight champion, Liam McGeary, and the legend, Randy Couture. Give it up for everybody. Yeah. Man, how are you guys doing? Good. Very good. How are you? How's the beer? Oh, you didn't take the beer yet. The beer is the beer <laughs> very nice. I'm trying to hide it around the corner there. So. <laughs> well, um, Randy, 2011 was your last fight. Mm -hmm. When's the next one? <laughs> Maybe right now. Oh. <laughs> That's actually a good question. If, <laughs> if I'm 20 feet away from you, how long will it take for you to knock me out? You know, there, there's actually a, a theory about that. You start talking about self-defense and hand-to-hand mm -hmm. -hand combat and that sort of thing, and they, they have a 21-foot rule with a knife. If somebody has a knife and they're 21 feet or closer to you, they can probably stab you before you can draw your weapon and, and kill them and shoot them. Wow. So if you're 20, 20 feet away from me, there's a fair chance that I'm going to get to you. I may not punch you and knock you out. I'll probably choke you because it's a lot more fun. Wow. Okay, let's, can we just go to the next question? <laughs> you wasn't expecting that answer, was you? I'm getting nervous now. All right, uh, so... <laughs> that will be nice. <laughs> That'll be nice. So, how's retirement life for you, though? I'm having a blast. I'm busier than I've ever been, uh, you know, trying to get more and better acting jobs all the time. Oh, yeah. H having a blast running the gym. The clothing line's doing very, very well with, with Extreme Couture Clothing and Affliction. Um, so, I mean, just trying to keep up most of the time. Literally have, can't find myself half the time. <laughs> have, you been, ha have you been approached to come back to fight? You know, when Fedor threw his hat in the ring and, and came out at New Year's on Ryzen in this big show in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, everybody started hitting me up and, and ringing my phone. I was actually with Scott Coker, the president of Bellator, doing me a media tour in New York City when that happened. Wow. So every single interview after that, and I'm sitting with Scott, okay. uh, was, oh, what about Fedor? Are you going to come out of retirement to fight Fedor? And I'm like, why would I do that? Why? I'm... I'm <laughs> I literally, I turned 53 next month. Wow. Uh, I, I retired at 48 for good reason. It was time. Yeah, it's time to go. And it's time uh, to let it go. I, you know, <laughs> I, I accomplished all the things I set out to accomplish. I, I took me some time, but I feel comfortable with that decision. And it just really doesn't make sense to me to come out of retirement, grind out another camp, and go out and fight. As much as I wanted to fight Fedor mm -hmm. seven, eight years ago, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me right now. When, when UFC first started, what attracted you to the sport? Of, of Man, I got in this sport on a whim. Really? It wasn't that I was attracted to it. I, I saw a couple of other wrestlers that I recognized. You know, Mark Coleman was the champ at that time. This was back in 96. Mm -hmm. And uh, Don Fry, who was one of my teammates at Oklahoma State, was fighting and I was like, oh my gosh, that sport's crazy. I would love to try that. It looks like fun. And there you go. Now you're a legend. And then and one thing <laughs> led to another. A year later, I, I had my first fight. That's crazy. How about you, Leanne? What, it, you know, tell us your background, like your first fight, and you know, how did you start with the, you know, with the, with, you know, with fighting? Well, my friend actually showed me UFC tapes of this dude right here. So I was watching him, T Ortiz, uh, the whole load back in the back in about ten years ago. It would have been. So I was I started watching it. Uh, Realized that I could do it myself. I started training, just had a fight. I was always street fighting as well, so that kind of helped and gave me that push to where I knew that I liked to fight. But then uh, now I've found MMA, and I haven't looked back since. Uh, I, I, I look to these guys for the way they're going and how they did things, and, and now I'm, I'm trying to do it the same way, just a little bit different, you know? Right. They, they, they opened the door, and uh, they showed the light how, where people can go. So, so you're from London, England, right? Yeah. And there's a there's a there's a Bell tour in London that's coming out in July. That's right. right? Yeah. How disappointed are you? They're not going to be on that that card. I'm I'm disappointed. I've been disappointed for months. Uh, I knew this was coming around, and I kind of tried to get ready for it, but I wasn't going to push something that that wasn't ready. You know, I've, I've seen too many people go in there hurt. Right. They haven't recovered from any of their injuries, and they, and they go and make a mistake for for rushing something. I did my Russian. I won my belt. Uh, I won my belt hurt. And, and now it's time for me to recover and then I can continue defending it and put on some more exciting fights for you. So, do you have a time frame for your injury? Are we going to be ready? 
Team I'm, I'm back training now. Um, okay. I'm back in training. I've been for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to see Scott Coker. Obviously, what's going on on Saturday night. We'll figure out what's going on from there. And then um, we'll try and get a date lined up as soon as possible. If you would fight Mayweather on a... Um, if I would fight Mayweather? Yeah. On a, on a you MMA. realize he's like 140 pounds, right? <laughs> I'd let's squash just, him say, like a bug. Just, right, right. First, though, right. Let's just, let's just say on an MMA Let's say I shrunk and I was 140 right, right. pounds. How long... How... How long would Mayweather last? Are the rules of engagement in MMA? In Octodon. In Octodon no, yeah. he, w he wouldn't make it out of the first round. Oh, my God. No way. I fought, I fought fight. James Tony, who was in my weight class. He was a world-class boxer, won world titles. Been in there, done that. And, and he didn't last 45 seconds. How are you? If, if you would fight Mayweather on a imaginary... It, it wouldn't even last a round. It wouldn't even get out of the first couple of minutes. Really? As soon as I got my hands on him, and we'd just take it down to the ground. And you guys are actually yeah. saying this like seriously, like. But neither yeah, one of us like, are stupid enough to stand around and box with Floyd oh, Mayweather either. You've seen him those last fights. See, nobody hit him. You could be swinging at him wildly and still be missing. Just grab hold of him, take him to the to the ground, and choke him out. That's <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> MMA. <laughs> That's insane. Well, grow, growing up, guys, like, did you guys like? I'm just. I mean, you know, this question is for both of you guys. Growing up, did you guys ever get into fights, or something like that? High school. All school? the time. Really? So you were one of those kids, huh? I was one of those kids, yeah. Sat in the corner. <laughs> Very rarely for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Twice, I think. Once in junior high, once in high school. That was it. You got expelled in high school? Didn't get expelled. <laughs> I didn't start it. I just finished it. So, you know. But I, I think I got all that aggression out and, and I learned, I started wrestling at 10 years old. So, you know, I think being on a mat... Being, having the courage to walk out there in the center of that mat where it's you and that other guy, there, there's a character and, and there's something you learn about exposing yourself that way. Uh, and I think consequently, I knew the consequences of fighting. Uh, and I was a happy-go-lucky kid. I was usually smiling. Right, Nobody right. ever rarely, the times I did fight, it was because somebody did something wrong or was picking on me or one of my buddies. Awesome. And uh, so I just never found myself in that situation. All right, awesome. So we're going to have some, uh, some fan questions. Um, Kane, uh, who's Kane? There you go, that, the guy right there. Uh, his question is, what was, your fo uh, what was your most memorable knockout? At least for both of you guys, I guess. You can start off. Uh, mine was Musatelli, the 22 second, the, the first round of the um, tournament. Uh, left hook. I've just been working that that hook and in the in the corridor trying to warm up for the fight actually 22 seconds 22 seconds yeah how are for you mr randy i never had a knockout i, I never had a one punch knockout in in the 14 years i fought mm -hmm. uh it was always more of a battle of attrition you know take you down hold you down punch you in the face till you didn't really want to go anymore <laughs> i never the closest i came to that one punch knockout was against tim sylvia I hit him in the first 25 seconds and he fell. Pulled him over. Yeah, he fell and I got, you know, but the, the fight lasted five rounds. He, it, uh, but I never had that one. I wasn't that, I didn't have that kind of, this kind of power like this guy here. Man. All right. So, uh, Alfonso, where Alfonso at? Yeah, that guy right there. Do you guys ever feel like one more KO will be enough? One more KO? I'm not sure what you mean. Like in my perspective is that one more KO is a little bit different for me because I've been retired for five years And I never felt like I needed one more fight or I had anything to prove or there was one one thing I didn't get to do that I wanted to do even not you know not getting to fight Fedor when he was ranked one and I was ranked two Which I chased that fight for a while uh, Just you know at some point you have to kind of let go of that now. He's he's at the top of the heap right now You know one more KO for I'm him has a whole being different meaning KOs. Or KOs or submissions. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I want to go. None of that judges five rounds, decisions, finish, finish fights. That's amazing. All right, so um, Mario, um, his question is, um, what has been your most difficult fight so far? I mean, for you so far, I mean, for Mr. Randy. Like, what, what my difficult, most fight? difficult fight was the first time I fought Pedro Hizzo. Uh, it was my first time fighting in Atlantic City. Um, five round battle title fight and it was back and forth i broke my nose i got kicked in the leg about 14 times i didn't walk right for about six weeks after that fight i was i was fortunate to win a unanimous decision i, I won three of the five rounds he won two uh but it was a brawl an all-out brawl wow that's me that, that, that's crazy well give it up once again randy couture and leon mcgeary
Um, Bellator 154, SAP Center in San Jose this Saturday. Make sure you check it out on Spike TV, Wild 94.9, WestUnion.com, VIP. Give it up one more time. <laughs>